Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Adam Bonington and I'm a gender affirming surgeon here in San Francisco, California. I wanna quickly mention something that's new for our clinic. So after vaginoplasty surgery, the traditional bandage that goes on the outside is something called a bolster, which is a thick multi-layer pad that gets physically sewn into the groin to hold pressure for that first week. The bolster can sometimes cause extra pain, swelling, and scarring. So we recently started a trial of negative pressure wound vacuum systems, which are stuck in place instead of sewn in place. This does mean that you're gonna be hooked up to one extra tube for the first week, and it's one extra thing to manage. And there's been no head-to-head -head studies comparing wound vacuums to bolsters for this surgery, but the wound vacuum does seem to cause less pain, swelling, and scarring after surgery. As of 2022, we're contracted to use the wound vacuum at all the hospitals where we operate. And while there might be rare cases where the bolster is still necessary, the wound vacuum is the new standard now for the vast majority of patients. Let us know if you have any questions and feel free to reach out if you'd like to make an appointment.